Hi friends, welcome to another video of Just Being Honest. In today's video, I'm going to share about the latest news update for IFAS, which only came in today on 30th December 2021. It's about the results of the Hong Kong EMPF, the Mandatory Provident Fund Schemes Authority Electronic Platform. Before I start, hope you can give a like for this video and also subscribe to my channel. And let's begin. So let us first take a look at the chart for IFAS. The reason why you see there's a huge drop here on the 5th of December it was actually due to the re release of the results whereby IFAS did not get the digital wealth banking license in Singapore. So that resulted in almost a 30% drop for IFAS share price. But then from that point onwards, it actually rose all the way up to its current share price now of $5.51. Moving forward, where this price goes, uh, we do not know, but we shall see. So this is the latest news that uh, IFAS just released today on 30th January 2021. So they mentioned that the EMPF Hong Kong announced that he has awarded PCCW Solutions Limited the contract for the design, build and operation of the EMPF platform. So IFAS itself is actually the prime subcontractor for PCCW Solutions. So this means that IFAS will in a way be benefiting from this project as well because they will be uh, involved in the setup of this whole thing. So based on this uh, DBS equity research report, they mentioned that the IFAS involvement in this EMPF project it could lead to an excess of more than SGD 10 million, which is more than 50% of their projected earnings for financial year 2020 if it wins the contract. So based on the information that they gotten and they, based on their research, they will see that based on what IFAS is getting from the project itself, it will lead to con uh, contribution to the bottom line in excess of SGD 10 million in the medium term. So for this project itself, it will also called be uh, in operation probably in around the year 2023. And then that's when the IFAS will see their earnings coming in. So this is actually the financial report for uh, IFAS. So for the year 2020, the first nine months of 2020, so IFAS revenue was uh, 61.53 million. And then their profit after tax is uh, 14.19. So based on the report that DBS has done, so they mentioned that the, the IFAS will be getting in excess of SGD 10 million to the earnings. So you can see there's more than 50% of IFAS uh, earnings for the year. So based on this information from the EMPF website, so this is where they officially announced that PCCW Solutions is awarded the contract for the design, build and operation of the EMPF platform. And at the bottom part, you can see that the contract period of the EMPF platform comprised of a two-year implementation period and a seven-year operation maintenance period and may be extended for one to three years. So this contract itself will be worth uh, 10 years for IFAS to be involved. And at the bottom itself, you can see that the development of the EMPF will be expected to be built by the end of 2022 earliest. And then once they start moving the, the information across to the new EMPF platform, then from 2025, that's where it will be fully operational. And then that's when the revenue will start to come in fully for towards uh, IFAS earnings. So personally, I feel that this is a huge win for IFAS because it will help to increase their, their net earnings. And in the long run, it also helps to provide a track record for IFAS to show that they are capable of building a such digitalized platform for, for uh, companies and governments. And then moving forward, we shall see how IFAS uh, will perform based on their results that will be out and released on the 5th February. So hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. Do remember to like and subscribe to this channel as well and let me know what video you'd like to see next. Have a great day ahead and bye bye.